Hello, John. Hello, Oliver. Um, you've been to the Costa del Sol. It's called Bella Medina. Is that correct? Uh, Bella Madna. Bella Madna. It's on the Costa del Sol near Malaga Airport, where where the Aer Lingus uh, flies into Malaga, and it'd be about uh, a matter of about maybe uh, ten miles or twenty kilometers. Okay. From Malaga. You spent four weeks there as a as a. It sounds like you were. Maybe an international man of leisure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was longer than, I suppose, your week or fortnight that when you're working is about all you can manage. Uh, yeah. That's one of the perks of being retired from business. Absolutely. And that you can spend that kind of time because it gives you a chance to observe uh, the, the people there, Absolutely. observe the tours, and observe the sort of facilities that you have because when you're on holidays you're doing a certain amount of travelling and visiting places. So this is something that we did. Okay. One example that we did by the way was uh, a bus pass. Now a bus pass here is known as something that you you can acquire uh, maybe a free bus pass when you reach uh, um, a retirement age and then off you go for free travel. But the bus pass there is not free travel by any manner of means. Uh, it is um, you pay for the bus pass one eighty for it, and then you can put the, the they can put in. And by the way, it's in a tobacconist shop. The the, tobacconist, the the tobacconist shops there are registered. Cigarettes can only be bought in those shops. I just want to go back, John, to the travel for a second again. Okay? In Ireland, we have free travel for senior citizens, That's people right. that are retired or thereabouts. Okay. Yes. Um, so you're saying in in Spain, there's no free and travel with the same not, thing. Not that I could see. Uh, even so, older Spanish people well, are travelling, they seem to uh, have something like what we had ourselves that they might have had to pay for. Uh, but you do get a reduction. Uh, we put in 50 euro into the card, and in the tobacconist, they did that. They, that's where you, you get these cards, okay. not in any tourist office or anything. So, we um, uh, instead of the fare being 160 or 165, with this card, it was 107, but you didn't have to fork it out. You just put it on the, on the, on the, where the bus driver is, on some kind of a, a podium, and it, a ticket hopped up, and then you put it down again, and another ticket hopped up. So it was usually 107 on the bus, one euro seven cents. So you were saving 52 or 53 cents per journey, per ticket. So that was a saving. And also the convenience of it, you didn't have to uh, be paying money uh, because in Spain on the buses uh, you have to um, give the exact money or no more than 10 euros, they would not accept 20 euros on the bus. It doesn't matter if there's half a dozen yet have it. But g g given that um, in Ireland the travel is free for anybody over the age of 65, um, would you like to see the same system that Spain is adopting? Well, you would like, considering that we're in the EU, and now I think uh, Ireland has contributed more to the EU and that they're receiving because uh, <coughs> they're apparently considered to be uh, wealthy. Uh, so they have to contribute more now, and perhaps a lot more now that Britain has left. Uh, so we'll be net contributors to Europe. Uh, but having been in Europe, you would think there would be um, the same facilities in each country, but there aren't. In Spain, uh, as far as I can see, the Spanish citizens don't have free travel. The older folk, and certainly people that might be unemployed, and so on and so forth, which they have free travel here, by the way, uh, if they're uh, uh, unemployed and that. So there's a lot of benefits for people in this country that don't obtain in other countries, and Spain is in the EU the same as we are. Okay, you, you, you mentioned to me that Spanish senior citizens get a free week at the end of May in a hotel of their choice, which sounds fantastic. It is. Uh, Spanish uh, <coughs> citizens, uh, older citizens um, uh, from over 60, I think, uh, they, they get a free week in the hotel of their choice uh, between, in, from the new year, from the end of January up to the end of May. After that, they, they, they don't receive it. But in other words, it fills the hotel, or rather, it puts people into hotels. Uh, it's a good perk for older folk, which they avail of, the Spanish people, because we come across quite a few of them in different hotels. 
Uh, by the way, the hotels there are practically full, even though we were there in April, uh, in March and April, which is off season. They were practically full of tourists from 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 European countries like Ireland, uh, Great Britain, and uh, other northern countries. Quite full. I just want to ask you: they can they can stay in a hotel f um, for a week, is it? For, uh, yes, free and full board. You're board. talking about the meals included. That's right. So, what's the benefit for the hotel? Uh, some drinks included, and also some uh, travel on buses to visit maybe sites that they mightn't uh, have seen before. They'd be from, these citizens would be from rural areas uh, from all over Spain. So they can go to any hotel of their choice, whether it's five star, six star, whatever it is. Wow. I'd imagine they'd all, I'd, I'd imagine they'd all go six star. <laughs> oh, they certainly do. And one of the things, the advantages, I suppose, from the Spanish point of view is that the hotels have visitors and it also means that the senior citizens, generally speaking, are not travelling anywhere else. They're not going to visit in any other countries. Well, no, that's a very, very good point. So they're keeping them at home. Absolutely, that's a very good point. Keeping the, the money there. Um, so in, in terms of like transport, what, how, what did you see in transport, like the cost of diesel, petrol, is it similar? Well, the cost of, of diesel and petrol I saw when we went there, uh, in, in the first week or so, I saw that diesel was 105 a litre, which is about 20 cents or more cheaper than here. Uh, petrol was about 120, 123, which again is about uh, 15 or 20 cents cheaper than here. Um, prices in some places were a little more than 105, there might be 108. So. Uh, the 105 was the best that I saw for diesel, which is very good value. Also, I noticed in Spain, all the taxis are white. I believe that's to sort of reflect the sun, that they're not warmer than they might otherwise be, because the cost of del sol, generally speaking, the temperatures don't go, go below 20 degrees. And when we were in Spain, it was above normal happened up to 24 and 25, so that we were roasted. Okay. You, you, you were talking about the, um, the, the cleanliness of, the, of, of Spain, that it was a very clean place to actually be a tourist. Correct. Um, and so the reason why it's so clean uh, is that there are refuse bins everywhere. There are also staff uh, employed by the local council. In our case, we were in Bella Madna, so you would see people uh, in, in refuse trucks with Bell and Madden on it. Every um, local area has, has their own um, um, cleaning um, staff uh, by way of refuse trucks and cleaners that are going around the street. Very well dressed by the way, probably the good weather helps for that, but nonetheless very well dressed. And the thing that we noticed about the bins they're so clean and shining. We saw them being cleaned by um, staff in in vans, and they were actually being cleaned with soap and water, or soap and, and, and but most unusual to see such a sight. Are these domestic bins you're talking about? No, are these were commercial in the public in the public area where where you could put various items, say bot bottles or this that or the other those type of okay. bins that were kind of like stainless steel uh, but they were being polished and hosed down then this uh, uh, man uh, that uh, it actually was a lady uh, in this particular area and it wasn't down the seafront where all the people are, it was up uh, where there were a few shops are and where the local church was that I attended. Now, uh, and then it was hosed down, she had the hose in the van and a kind of a a van and hosing it down so I think I photographed it because it was so unusual and we noticed uh, that uh, when you're rubbish when you, if you have any rubbish daily you don't have to wait for some lorry to call once a week uh, and to leave it out in bins you bring it down to wheelie bins that are near all these apartment blocks and some houses but it's mostly apartment blocks and hotels you bring it down and you, or you bring it nearby, a matter of about maybe 
tw tw not 20 yards, maybe about 10 yards, there are these wheelie bins, largest wheelie bins, and you put your rubbish in there. You don't have to be sorted out and this, that and the other. So in other words, that's the way people dispose of their rubbish. They haven't, that they're not put to the pin of their collar to have big lorries call into their house. And in the case in Ireland, uh, private operators, uh, which is about the most incompetent way that you can dispose of rubbish. Uh, you would think that the people charged with uh, running the country, i.e. the government, I presume they travel abroad. They, some of them must have been to Spain and France and these other European countries, and except now, except for Britain. We forget about Britain. They have the same ridiculous uh, situation that we have in this country, where your big lorries collect their rubbish. Okay. Um, the social welfare system. There is no handout in Spain to uh, the Spanish people or to foreigners in Spain. Is that no, correct? That is correct. There is no there is no housing benefit whatsoever in that area. You pay for your account. You pay for your accommodation, and uh, with the result uh, that there isn't this housing shortage that we suffer from in this country. Okay. Um, Negative points, you said that the Spanish were unfriendly and unhelpful. Well, except for the people in the tourist office, uh, Spanish people do not speak English or understand English, even though that's the language that most Northern Europeans use, uh, which seems extraordinary that uh, I believe it's taught in schools, but for some reason or other, uh, you, you have to try and uh, speak a bit of Spanish in order for it to be understood and we have a, some bit of Spanish and of course it's always useful to have um, a Spanish phrase book with you uh, that you might need to write down and show it to them rather than speaking it because the way we speak it what we read and the way it's probably understood by the Spanish people is two different things. Finally, I just want to go back to our, what we said in the beginning where we're talking about the, the free travel in Ireland and that Spanish senior citizens have to pay for travel. How would you explain to an Irish person, to an Irish senior citizen, that paying for their travel is a better idea? Well, That's the impression I got from you in the beginning. Is that what you're well, saying? No, 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 what I'm saying is that, that uh, it, it certainly is much appreciated by older people that have contributed to society uh, by way of uh, taxes and their income taxes down the years, and so it's a very, it's very much appreciated by by older people, and they would not like to see it uh, interfered with or done away with uh, at all. Now, but uh, the sure. fact is that the free travel is often given to other people that are not retired and that, that never perhaps worked, or okay. that kind of thing. So uh, that's an area uh, that that. Uh, uh, probably would need to be looked at, but as regards when a person retires, the free travel in this country is very much appreciated, and I'm very surprised that it's not available for other citizens in the EU. The way so you you're saying basically that that in Spain that it would be better if they had free travel as opposed to paying for it. Is that uh, well, the would for their own citizens, and um, I'm I'm surprised that as far as I could see. It's not there. Now, I'm not going to be 100% sure that they don't actually enjoy it in some areas. Uh, perhaps they do, but I could, didn't see any evidence of it when it was there. Okay. They paid the same as we did. Thank you, John Malone, you international traveller. <laughs> yeah, A man of the world. I, huh? I, I didn't even finish uh, with all the benefits that I uh, that I observed. Then. Well, sure, we might do another video on it in the future sometime, and that you'll, you'll have okay. more, more to say. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That's great. Thanks very much, John. Thank you very much.